We have such a massive week this week. We are on our last week and hopefully we can get it done and get moved in. We've got the ceiling to do, insulate and um, put a fake ceiling in and do the woodwork all the way around here and a few other little bits and bobs. finished almost looks finishing up but it was a um, up and down on the scaffolding on his knees looking up and uh, <laughs> will there be beers tonight mr. Blake <laughs> your head down I will tell you keep your head up I will hold you close I will hold you close take your Totally insulated. Huh. We had a little issue here that we will fix tomorrow, but the insulation is up. The days are slowly getting warmer, longer, and sunnier, and flowers and herbs are popping up everywhere. Look at that. Stunning. The orchard has also begun to bloom. All beautiful and welcome signs of change and hope.
It was two days of grueling work. I mean, this is hard work when you're in your 20s, but when you're in your 50s, 40s and 50s, this was intense work. I mean, we are, we're aching. It was a lot of work, but it's done. The whole place is insulated. And now we crack on with the good stuff. This is where we start, uh, really start to do the decorating part of it. It's gonna look like a workshop, but it's gonna be a glamping space too. So we're excited, we're ready to go, and we're gonna, it's gonna just start looking better and better from here on in, so we're very excited. It's very toasty in here. The breezes are not completely uh, dealt with yet. I've got a little bit on the top and top here to do, but we'll do that in the next few days, and um, we shall be all closed in uh, by the end of the week. Warfare. This is pretty funny. <laughs> Good morning. So it's Thursday and we're moving furniture in on Saturday. The floor has been sealed and is ready to receive. Behind me, this wall is mostly done. Just a little bit at the top there to do. This wall needs a lot more work need to be sealed in on the top and all the boards done and the window done. This wall's about half done. And this wall is mostly done, just needs closing in at the top on the outside and then uh, and the finish work, but mostly done, ready to receive anyway. So that's what we've got left to do. We've got today and tomorrow to get all that done. And then we should be start moving in. Oh. And the ceiling needs the material, which is not coming until tomorrow. So hope, we're not sure when we're gonna be able to get that up, but should be by Monday at the latest, we'll have that done. So that's where we are right now, we're looking good.
Happy Friday, everybody. We are one day away from putting furniture in here and we couldn't be more excited. So one of the things we have to do is kind of cover the insulation on the ceiling. So ultimately our goal is to put up some nice light wood paneling. But when we were at the store, we realized um, how they priced things and what we saw were two totally different things. So we came up with a solution. We're gonna try this jute fabric that we just had delivered and um, with a couple little mini strips of uh, baton wood that I had stained yesterday and hope that it kind of lightens up the space and at least keeps the insulation off of us for now. So it's another temporary solution until we can figure out how to better secure a nice wood roof. I also wanna talk about the wood on the sides of the wall. So we had originally uh, plan to take the wood from the attic and use it for our wood floors. We realized quickly we didn't think we were going to have enough. So we're going to leave it as the OSB for now. Remember, this is a workshop. We're going to be staying in the workshop where the house gets remodeled. So we had stain because we were thinking dark floors, light walls. We had opened the stain so we couldn't return it. We had to use it. So we started out our wood staining it and realized on the walls that it was really, really dark. So about halfway through we realized this and we stopped. So we have a little bit of darker wood and lighter wood, but even the lighter stuff is still pretty dark. So it's actually a little darker than we had hoped for, but we're hoping that keeping the ceiling light and keeping the floor light and the light energy that this house will stay um, nice and uplifted and happy. The last piece. Yes! <laughs> Finished. Woohoo! Come on, You want me to pull through the yeah, other side? Yeah, see if you can grab it. Okay. I'm not making it through that. Anymore. So what we're doing is um, trying to make a hole between these two walls so we can run an extension cord from our main electric 
which is down in here, we're gonna run an extension cord somehow and tuck it in through here and base all the electricity, uh, which won't be much, but off of an extension cord. And we will spray expandable foam around all this so we don't get any critters. Because we got lots of critters. Closet part one, Closet done. Part one. We're making a closet um, for storage and the cat litter and uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing. It's like a rainbow. You're drilling into a rainbow. You're drilling into a rainbow. I have to video this because when I pulled out this sticker, look what I saw. Five black cats. That's exactly what I have. Too funny. We couldn't be more grateful for Olivier's hard work today. Without him, I don't think we could have pulled off getting these pony walls done. Thank you so much, Olivier, for your dedication and hard work to our project. We can't wait to see you again. Regarde la barre. Est-ce que tu nous vois? 
C'est difficile à dire La vie sans toi Est-ce que tu y crois Je ne sais pas écrire Ce manque de toi Un coin tranquille Peut-être une île Vie indocile La nuit défile Dans un exil Un coin tranquille tu veux savoir S'il va pleuvoir C'est pas toujours facile Quand il fait noir Est-ce que tu y crois We couldn't have had a better day to move in. It was sunny and warm. We were in t-shirts. We hung laundry on the line. And we were both just so grateful. I made all that hard work worth it. So we'll go spend one more night in the rental. And we'll bring in the cats tomorrow. And uh, we just feel really blessed. What a beautiful day. We did it. <laughs> we did it. It's move-in day. It's uh, the day after the first day of spring. So it's the second day of spring. We have three of the five cats in the car. They're coming. We're going to put them inside, leave them in for a couple of days, get them used to the place. We're really excited. They're going to love it. It's going to be awesome. And the weather couldn't have been Look more this. perfect. It's, it's beautiful. It's still, it's sunny, yeah. so we're really excited. Yeah. All right. Let's go get the cats. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. We'll just record them when they're out. this little table at Vid Grenier which is like a flea market, like an American flea market. Um, it's iron and it's quite narrow. 36 
83 and this is the top that came with it quite large so too large for this space but if I cut it down to half it'll fit on the base and it'll be like a really good computer station my little office so that's what I'm gonna do Nachos Grande at Tres Reyes. <laughs> we all slept so well, and now it was time to take the cats on their very first walk. The transformation from cow shed to home has been exhausting and we still have so much to do, but Bloke and I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Olivier, for all your hard work. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for buying us coffees. Your support means so much to us. When we